Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Chris. This is going to be a follow along drawing tutorial for Maylee and her mom from Turning Red. Uh, it's going to be in real time, no editing. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Just grab a pencil. Okay, guys. First time doing this YouTube video, drawing along thing. Hopefully it goes well. Um, now, if I go too fast or anything, feel free to like slow down and stuff. Um, first step is we're gonna go ahead and just draw a circle here. You can do, you know, iPad or Procreate if you want. And you'll notice Mei Li, her shape is a little bit more boxy. You guys see that? So I would draw kind of big because there are a lot of details that we need to draw later. So yeah, go ahead and do that first. Notice how like, this is a very box, very round shape. There you go, very round oval shape. This one is a little bit more rectangular. Okay. All right, let's go ahead, next step. Now, um, next thing I wanna do is I'll establish this neck right here for the mom. And you'll see that her shape, her face is very round, but her outfit is very like uh, rectangular. I think it goes to show that, you know, the mom is kind of like uptight and stuff too, you know, high strong. Her outfit kind of shows that. Um, Maybe it's a lot softer material. Look at this material, a lot softer. So we're gonna do the neck here. And one thing, a lot of students, they'll do the neck like this. That is incorrect, okay? You'll notice that with her angle, it actually goes like this. You see how it kind of comes around? A little bit like this. It's because she's kind of looking forward. So you know how my neck disappears? If you're standing up straight, you'll see the neck. We're just blocking in the big shapes for now. If I'm going too fast, you know, feel free to, you know, you can adjust the speed on YouTube, stuff like that. All right, next. Um, the notebook, this part is fairly important. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and draw the notebook. Horrifying moment for Mei Li. This is a mortifying. The word mortifying, we're really mortifying. It means very, very embarrassed. Mortifying. Look at this. You're learning English vocabulary in our art YouTube channel too. Look at that. All right, I'm kind of just blocking in the, the shapes. You know, doing simple shapes, simple shapes. The hands are gonna be kind of tough for Mei Li, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll, I can help you guys out with that. Have you ever had a parent, you know, discover some drawings that they weren't supposed to see? Maybe you can, uh, let me know in the comments below, or maybe not if it's too embarrassing, but uh, has anything like that ever happened to you? So in case you're not familiar, what happened in the movie was she drew a bunch of like boys, um, a lot of romantic stuff in the notebook and her mom found out. And uh, yeah, she was pissed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Over here, a little bit of the hand. I'm just doing kind of like a palm like this. Now this hand is really tough. A lot of people, they'll do something like this. They'll do a hand down here and they'll do that. And what happens is that's actually kind of wrong too because what happens is the forearm will often be too long. This actually looks fine, but this is what you want to do. Look at the angle of this. You see how this is like almost straight. So it's going to be like more like this sideways. See that? and then it's going to go up like that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and block in the 
something here too. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having fun with this follow along YouTube video so far. We're about just six minutes in. Let me know if this pace is too fast or too slow. And um, yeah. So I teach on OutSchool, uh, which is like this um, website. <laughs> it's live classes. And I normally teach to like uh, 10 to 15 year olds. Uh, so that's, that's generally who I teach to. It's only for kids. So if you're an adult, you can't take my classes, but maybe you're an adult watching this video too, you know? All right, I think we can go ahead and go next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the face first. I don't want to do the fingers right now in case I need to erase all of this when I'm doing like the, the head. Like I don't wanna to invest too much time because I wanna keep everything kind of loose until I feel pretty confident with everything. So I'll go ahead and put the ear in. This ear is a little bit smaller here. Notice I'm, I'm erasing quite a bit here and that's fine. At this point, you know, stay kind of loose. I'm being very intentional, but I'm not messy. You know, I'm being loose, but not messy. There's a difference. Now go ahead and work on the mom here. Her ear is pretty high. But like this, you know what? Her actually goes a little bit towards the front. It goes more like this here. There we go. All right, I'll go ahead and start a bit on the hair. Now, I want to do basic shapes for the hair. A lot of people, when they think about hair, they just add on the hair and stuff like that. I try to think about it in terms of like, what is the shape overall? You see, this is kind of like a trapezoid or something, or like, I feel like there's a type of chocolate that looks like this. This one, this hair overall looks kind of like an oval. See that? Let's see here. Overall, the hair looks kind of like this. And then her shape is overall like this. And then you start doing the details afterwards. Okay, I'll do that and then I'll start carving in. But yeah, you see how I think about it just a little bit differently? Hopefully you're getting good audio. I'm using this new lav mic. Um, I actually use, um, I usually use a Blue Yeti, which is like a hundred dollar mic. This lav mic was 20 bucks. <laughs> Trying it out. All right, I'm working on this hair here. Oh, this one's cool, how the hair, you can't see it, I think the hair goes like this. It kind of tidal waves down. That. I, want, I think I want to push this ear down a little bit. I'm looking at the distance between the ear and the, and the hair here. That's a little bit better. Okay, over here, I'm gonna do this little pin here. And what I wanna think about when I'm doing this is I'm thinking about the separation of the hair. So the separation of the hair, hair on May's head is gonna be right here. So it's really important that we get this line down 
and then we'll go this way and that way okay so from here we can kind of go across oops well actually it comes all the way down here yeah there we go yeah so um, I actually teach art classes. I teach like 18 classes a week on our school, um, at least for now. I don't know, like in the future, this the video is going to be around for, you know, forever. So who knows? But right now it's 2022. This is my first follow along video um, on, on YouTube. And um, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm teaching teaching uh, live classes on our school. So if you want to um, take live classes with me, you know, get feedback and stuff, you you can sign up and check out my website below. Um, Chris-Chen.com/outschool. And if you are enjoying this video so far, you know, please leave a like. You know. Subscribe for more content. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Okay, you guys. The ear position is quite hard for a lot of people. I usually, for a realistic head, your ear, the top of the ear goes to the eye, bottom of the ear goes to the nose. You can even touch it if you want. This is a little bit different. Her nose, let me zoom in a bit here, is gonna be pretty small. Her nose, is above her ear and her eye is kind of above her ear too so i'm just going to do big circles you know just big circles when you're doing these eyes you don't want them to be too far away from each other or too close now i'm just going to go ahead and do the, the mouth this as well okay now i'm not doing any detail yet notice how i keeping i'm keeping it very loose if you make the proportions incorrect, you know, go ahead and erase at this time. You don't want to invest too much in bad proportions. You know what? I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the eyebrows here. I think my eyes might be too big. I'm going to make my eyes a bit smaller. See? This way you don't feel bad if you have to erase something. So many times when you're when we're doing art, right? It'd be like, I know that looks wrong, but if I make it darker, maybe it'll look better <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about do that i do that all the time here we go so um if you're here i'm assuming that you like the movie turning red what was your uh, favorite part of the movie let me know in the comments below maybe you can write um what was the most relatable part of the movie <laughs> for me um what was relatable was i'm actually an only child too like may lee i think that was pretty interesting i i feel like you don't see many only child movies that often like encanto was a very like big family movie um working on eyebrows here our family actually has a, a temple uh in our house just like uh may lee and stuff that was interesting too played a bunch of instruments and stuff yeah it was pretty high you know you had a lot of pressure being an asian kid in a household sometime yeah putting a little bit of eyes and stuff notice the eyes are really close to the nose And I haven't drawn the glasses yet, you guys. I want to save the glasses till uh, very last. I'm going to work a little bit on the mouth. Here's a trick for the mouth. When you're doing the mouth, um, don't draw like the teeth. You just want to draw like the area around it, like here or here. It's, it'll do so much work for you. Check it out. Here, just draw a little bit. Black, look at that. It looks good already. <laughs> Maybe a little bit right here, a little bit black. You see that? That's all you needed to do. I didn't even draw like the lips. You can like shade in a little bit for like the top and the bottom. And you can do like just a little bit here. 
but you don't need to draw like all the teeth. Like that already looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Sweet. Pretty happy with it. Okay, I'm gonna work a little bit on the clothing now, right here. In case anybody's wondering what app I'm using, I'm using an app called Photoshop. There we go. And you guys, we're gonna need to do the fingers next. Oof, scary. All right, guys, I'm going to start on the fingers. Okay, so fingers, right? We're thinking palm, thumb, fingers, right? One, two, three. So we already have the palm. So I'll go ahead and do the thumb. Right? I'll do the thumb here too. Oh, well, so far she's looking like this. <laughs> looking okay. This top finger right here, that one might be a little bit tricky. Let's zoom in a bit. All right. So it's actually a little bit like an L. We're just breaking it down into like the graphic shapes. Right. This one, it's a little bit like an L, but we can even like just do that. And then these two right here. We're gonna have it go in. You see how this one goes in like that? Simplify it. This one, let's have it go in too. We're just leaving the top of the finger. Check that out, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'll do a little bit of this actually. There you go. Look at that. Look, that's pretty good. Give that a try, you guys. My students were telling me the other day, they were like, hey, if you want to, if you want like a million subscribers, just make videos on how to draw hands and you, you're going to get a bunch of subscribers. <laughs> Let me know if that's true. Hands, gosh. Yeah, hands are hard for me too, dude. All right, these fingers over here, it kind of looks like what we have going on is just top of the finger, top of the finger, and we're good. That's it. Yeah, we're good with the fingers, you guys. Boom. Maybe I'll do a little, a little fold here. But dude, I think we're done with, we're almost done with Melee. We just got to do the, the glasses. Give you guys a bit, a minute to finish up the fingers. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to put myself here. Man, I got this sun in my eye. All right, so what I'm thinking about is I'm just not doing like in the middle. I'm thinking about what is the space around it, okay? So the eye is a little bit on, like right here we have a lot of space. Let's do that one first. Nose bridge here. And it's touching right here. You see it's how it's touching that area. And it's actually going outside. Hold on, this needs to come in a bit. You see how the glasses, they're going outside of it? That's tricky. That's telling you, it's giving you a hint. There you go. It needs to go outside of it. It's not perfect. It'll work. Oh, her ears are in the middle of her eye. This, down around. There you go. That. There you go. 
Oh, by the way, so my live classes that I offer on OutSchool include like live interaction. Like you can show me your artwork and receive like real time critique in the class. It's pretty cool. And she's freaking out. You know what? Her eyebrows need to be closed together, I realized. There you go. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hopefully you guys are doing okay so far. We're about 20 minutes in. All right, let's go ahead and work on the mom. Hold on, let me, let me shade this in real quick. Doing some really basic shading, just making the hair dark. All right. Okay. All right. Now, so it's important to not just do one character and then the other character because these two characters are interacting, you know? So you got to think about it in terms of like a back and forth. All right, let's check it out here. Mom, you know what? I don't want to do the eyes first. I think that is hard to kind of, um, kind of grasp. I want to do the mouth first because I know for sure where the mouth is going to be. So my mouth is going to be like down here. Like we know that that's going to be easy. Make sure we, we line it up on the symmetry line, okay? You line it up there, like it's almost touching that edge. All right. I'll go ahead and do the nose next. Nose something like this. And you see how like there's this line here from either side. Keep going, guys. I know it's getting hard. You guys can do it. Just stick it out. Yeah, these lips are a little hard. I, I, I had to draw the lips a little bit more for the mom. And I'll go ahead and put in the eyes. Just big circles here. This eye is going to be very close to the edge. This eye over here. Just do your best to make sure that they line up with each other. All right. Let's go ahead and put in the eyebrows here. And you guys remember seeing the grandma in the in the movie and the grandma has like a scar above her eye or something that that was to kind of hint at like like it was caused by like um may's mom or something that was interesting almost done here So what I'm doing for eyes, I'm just doing big circle, little circle, fill in the little circle, and then everything else, you just kind of make it gray. That's what I do. White circle, black circle, and then gray. Okay. For mouth, I just want to fill in the black area, 
Okay, the black area I have is gonna be this opening right here. That's all you need to do. Don't do teeth. And I'll do just do a little bit of black right here as well. <gasps> you see, no teeth. You can do a little bit of a frown if you want. Ah, it's pretty good, you guys. It's pretty good. Props to you if you're still watching this video. <laughs> this is long. Let me do this right here. Hearing. I love that part in the movie where like the aunties and stuff. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> they they all did the like here's here's my necklace. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. And then they all did the kind of Sailor Moon transformation. That was fun. Here we go. That's pretty good. Here, we want to darken this area here a lot. Right here. Darken that. This area is going to be highlight. And then the rest, it can be dark, but not as dark as it's fine. Like this. We're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. Hope you guys are having fun so far. You know why she's looking all freaked out? Because a couple of you guys haven't smashed the like button. So make sure to smash the like button, okay? This way she'll become happier. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, over here. Start working on the outfit. And then this area, make it symmetrical. One, two, and three, four. Like that. <gasps> you got a 89 on your test? No, mom. <gasps> you got a C in math? Okay, here we go. It's kind of have like a little bit of cheap how action here. Pretty cool. Oh, here, that, that's her, uh, her pendant thing. And, uh, yeah, that's about, I think we're about done, dude. Over here. We can kind of do like these little circle thingies if you want. The notebook. Oh man. I use so many of these notebooks now for my journals. But remember how like when you put it in your backpack, these rings, they would always get bent. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh man. That was the worst. Um guys, I think we're about done here. Let's see. Uh-huh, guys. I think we are about done. Yeah, um, if we want, maybe I would like shade this a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more contrast against the hands. I'll pop out the hands here. Yeah, I like that. And I might shade this too, mom's jacket. And uh, yeah, I don't know, put some stuff here. And uh, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Well, well um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, thank you guys so much. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye everyone.